<laughs> hello, hello, my name is Paolo. This over here is Jiro. Today I want to show you a few assets that I love from the asset store. These are some of the assets that I always use in pretty much every project I start. So hopefully you'll find them useful too. So the first asset, this one I install on any project, no matter how big or small. It's called Full Screen Editor. So what that asset does is basically you can press uh, F10 to make your game full screen so you can really see it uh, in detail or you can press F11 if you want to make your uh, editor full screen whenever you're trying to see like your game in full you gotta make a build and stuff like that which takes a long time here you just press F10 boom it's done love this asset uh, the next asset is called selection history and basically it is what it says if you look over here basically it shows me whatever i selected right so if i select the scene it appears over there select this one selects over there and if I, so I select the canvas the player whatever whatever i might want appears there so it's really good when you're like switching between different elements and then yeah basically i can use as i'm navigating i can always come back to my history here to reselect my cat and do whatever i need to do to it and then go back to for example the coin or um, my grid or whatever I need to do. Uh, this next asset is called Asset Icons, and this one's a little more niche, but uh, I found it super useful. So for this one, if you have scriptable objects in your game to basically keep any sort of data, like here I have a, a bunch of weapons, uh, you can see I have all the scriptable objects here, and it's kind of hard to tell them apart because they all have this same little icon. So that's where this asset comes in. So in Visual Studio, you can select your scriptable object, and if you have an icon in it, you can do uh, asset icons dot asset icon and then basically with this tag i just marked this icon to be the icon that gets used for it so now when we see the script of logics now each one of them have their own icon and it's way obvious which one is which is much more usable uh, the next one is called do tween this is a super popular asset is honestly uh, a lifesaver basically what you can do with this is interpolations basically it's used to uh, move objects fade objects uh, scale objects you can do all sorts of interpolations you can do custom ones just to change a number for example um, i have a tutorial about interpolations that i'll i'm going to link up there so you can check it out there if you want more details about do tween the next one is called shapes it's really good to make like any sort of 2d shapes uh, you can see in their demo here uh, they're doing basically all of this is done with shapes uh, all of these shapes are procedural so the good thing about uh, procedural shapes is basically you can scale it as much as you want you can zoom them as much as you want and they'll always look pixel perfect so shapes is fantastic for generating any sort of things like this uh, polylines lines regular polygons discs i've used it a lot it's uh it's very good it actually works on all three uh, render pipelines so that's really good uh, and it actually has gotten quite a few updates after release so it is well maintained the next asset called texture adjustments and it's actually really nice it can allows you to do a lot of different image effects directly in unity without having to go out into another program change the texture there and then bring it back so for example here we have this kitty face and then you can go over here say for example color correction and then we can for example call change the hue of it so you can like tweak that there um, you can also stack the effects but let's remove that for a moment and let's change for example you can do uh, a little uh, blur the the big advantage is obviously you can do any of this with photoshop or whatever but um uh, you, then you have to like go out change it and then bring it back you can just do it directly in unity uh, next one is called peak this is a general editor thing it just changes the workflow quite a bit so for example with peak if i select this tree over here i get over here um, as you can see it has a whole bunch of mesh colliders for each one of the zones but i can for example click on the transform and i can just move it from here instead of having to go into the inspector it's also very useful for if you want to edit in full screen you get all the things over here so for example you can open your hierarchy directly there and it's just like a little pop-up now you can uh, open your project so basically whatever you need you can just access it and that way you have like more space to work with um, also a very useful thing is like for example if you want to put a tree here i can just Control shift click and then it comes like this and i can just say tree and then just drop in a tree obviously this tree is kind of gigantic but then i can just uh, basically select to scale it down and just bring it there and boom you have the thing i find it particularly useful for level design and the last asset i'm going to show you is called extended primitives it can actually help you like make very simple shapes that are not part of unity right now without having to go into blender or whatever to make them so for example here i can do create and then go to 3d object and there's extended primitives and i can select for example a donut uh, and in this uh, this shape is actually dynamic right now i haven't uh, finished it so basically if i go here into fillet donut script it has a whole bunch of things that i can change for example um, you can see if i select this and then i start 
changing how many segments you can change the complexity of the shape you can shape uh change how many uh fillet segments it has there that is if you want to do that little bevel thing that it does over there um slice fillet that's uh for the ones over here uh and then you can tweak things for example for the size like uh this is the where the pivot is uh, the angle right now is at 220 but you can actually pull it down so you know all of these shapes are kind of very useful shapes that you can do quickly here without having to jump into blender or whatever so as you can see here like basically it goes through a regular mesh blender so you can actually just use it normally so that's it that's a lot of uh, assets the links will be down in the description if you want to check them out these are really the assets that i pretty much bring into most of my projects because they i find them super useful if you find this list useful don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment down there if you know of another asset that you think i might like or other people might like uh, let me know i'm always in the market for more assets and if you ever want to see me stream i'm on twitch.tv slash pablo makes on mondays wednesdays and saturdays where i do a lot of stuff shaders games coding all that kind of shenanigans hope to see you there and until then have a good time adios well thanks for stopping by don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out thanks for watching